We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show, where our one rule is, from humble beginnings, we start. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums. We're back with more, a quest that became legend. And we're going to be able to officially get into the game and get started. So here is the uh, voiceover for The Legend Begins, and we'll continue. This is where it all begins, on the edge of the forest in a misty land called Misirita. Here, a young band of hopeful individuals, lusting for adventure and a more profitable way of life, has gathered. They have heard that a nearby village has put out a bounty for some troublesome goblins that have been harassing the village lately. With no real experience in the field of adventure and bounty hunting, this all seems new and very exciting. But what this young party has yet to learn is that the times are changing. An age of darkness is crawling over the world. Lands that used to be safe are now becoming increasingly dangerous as dark forces have awakened and nothing will ever be the same again. Unaware of the dark presence that they would later come to know as the Dark Conjurers and their role in all that is about to unfold, this young group is simply looking forward to their new life as adventurers. So, this is where it all begins, unknowing, unaware, and unprepared for all that is to come. For little did they know that a quest for a small bounty would actually mark the beginning of what would become a legend. All right, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, from our humble beginnings, we do indeed start our quest. All right, so this is the tutorial. It just comes up in the middle. Okay, that's that's totally fine. Fine with that. All right. Oh my goodness. Cool. So we just kind of look around everywhere. Oh, this is messing with my brain. I like it though. Cool. Very cool. I don't know what any of the controls are to be honest, guys and gals. I probably should have looked, but I didn't. Oh, you can sprint. Is, is there a downside to sprinting? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, there's like, it's supposed to be a highlightable, highlight all actions or something. Okay. There's a character thing. Uh, how do I... I really should have looked up the uh, hot cue. Or that I can hit C. Okay. Okay. And if you wanted to move around while you're you have your mouse on the screen, you can also instead of panning to the edge. Oh, it does lock to the screen. Oh, perfect. Cool. All right. See, I didn't know if it would do that inside the game itself, but it absolutely does. That's weird. Why does? The... Okay. It's an aesthetic uh, choice. Cool. Q E R is. Your skills. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, e, T, let's see. Oh, C is what you actually have equipped. Oh, cool. We can actually see what we have equipped here. A large branch. All right. Oh, looks like everybody has a, at least a, a bow of some sort. Cool. She got an old wooden club. No armor. Yeah. She's just a barbarian woman just running naked through. A gambeson. Armor class 11. Armor class 5. Armor class 10. Huh. <laughs> Why is his armor class higher than mine? I don't understand. It's okay, though. I'm not mad about it. All right. Well, let's get started on our adventure. Clearly, we need to go for forward. I saw the roots. I got scared that they were spiders. Can't do anything to the clearly creepy roots. They're definitely going to turn on me and eat me at some point. Okay, we have a crossroads. Great! Love to have to make a choice immediately, and probably the wrong one. Well... Uh, you move around with W A S D. Uh, okay. Well, that woke me up. Oh, oh, that's really, really loud. Okay, we're back, and things should be slightly quieter now. 
Oh, that's a map, huh? Wait, what is this? Heavy arrow. Cool. So I, I guess I shot with our first person. Okay. Interesting. So I can move. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to shoot at him. Not enough action points. Oh, okay. Okay, so he went first. Okay. Okay, so I moved. Alright, and then... Uh, Spacebar ends the turn. I, I don't know how I feel about this not staying... In front, but I guess that's fine. The new stuff is at the top. I guess that's okay. Alright, not enough action points. Spacebar ends the turn. It's still a little loud. Alright, well, he didn't seem to really take much damage. He rolled up on us pretty heavily, though. Alright, took 13 points of damage there. I think we're gonna move. And we're going to move up on this fool. Uh, we didn't move very far. Alright, we have poison. I don't know that I want to do that, though. That one took zero damage. I don't, like, none of us are really archers. Alright, well, we're about to get smacked in the face. Look how small he is, he's so adorable. <laughs> Alright, we hit him with the club there. How much health does this guy have? We don't know. There we go, 20. Man, dude, strong. I mean, maybe I should use Matt. No. I missed. Uh... Okay, hit us. It's still so loud. I might have to turn it down more. All right, that's hopefully a little bit better. All right, left alt is our highlight button, by the way. All right. How's this guy so strong? What's the little red crystal thing mean? Oh, but she's exhausted, that's what it means. Dude's unbelievable. Like, I, I, I can't... I literally can't believe it's... still alive. Oh my god. Oh, we, we seem to regenerate health really quickly, though. That's cool. Oh, I looted him. Uh, I gained one gold. That guy was only worth one gold? That was like the end game boss. What do you mean? Oh my god, that was... That was horrifying how much he did to us. But I guess it's all fine. We, we seem to have healed. After combat, we just had to survive it. I, I don't know how much health that guy had. It had to be a lot. I mean, a couple hundred at least, right? Because we were doing like 24 tick on our on our big boy on the left here. And then the archer was doing like 16 from a distance. I don't know. I will say that that combat freaked me out. All that stuff happened. Oh. Are, are, you, are you guys friendly? Hello? I mean, you, you don't look friendly. Hello there, stranger. What brings you to our little town? We are adventurers looking for work. No, your business, old man. We're adventurers. Okay, adventurers. We are a little town and not much extra work to be found around here. However, I'm sure there's something you can do if you ask around. We heard that this town has put out a bounty on a band of goblins. Do you know anything about that? Oh, so you are looking for that kind of work. Well, yes. Yes, I do. 
be honest, I just didn't think you were the fighting type, but looks like uh, looks can be deceiving, and we really do need someone to take care of our goblin problem. They have become a real threat, and their numbers, well, they just keep growing. Wait, what do you mean, not the fighting type? Ah, don't worry, we'll take care of it. Where are these goblins? Oh my god, I love that so much. That is how you should always level up. I mean, it was absurdly loud and freaked me out a little bit, but that is 100% how you should level up in any game ever. I, I would have liked to have seen some explosions on the screen, some confetti raining down or what have you, but it should be a big deal. There should be some sort of fanfare noise, something big. So, well done. There always seems to be some roaming around in the near vicinity of the village. Probably just waiting for the right moment to attack the village or anyone who strays too far from it without proper protection. But they seem to have taken residence inside a cave not far away southeast from here. Clearing, clean out the cave. Maybe that will discourage the rest or at least slow their growing numbers down. I will return when the job is done. Thanks. All right, so... Uh, goblin Cave Quest Bounty Added to Quest Journal Complete Party Gain 2,000 experience, everybody leveled up. We fought one goblin, and we came to town, and boom, this is where we're at. Nope, that's not what I want. So our map, oh, we can zoom in. Oh, that's great. I was like, that map is uh, really small. How do we move? Okay. I got gotcha. you. This is great. This is a really nice map. Well done. Okay. All right. Cool. Wait. If I if I stay zoomed in like that and then I hit escape. Oh. Uh. How do I how do I get out of the map? Oh no. Do I? M. Okay. So wait. If I if I keep it zoomed in like this, right? I'm trying to zoom out a little bit. There we go. I hit M. Oh, it does reset it. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, uh, we leveled up, like I said, so that's good. Um, T? T. All right, we're level two. Technically, we should have a skill point, but I don't think we actually do. What is this? Okay. Right. Um, I'll go two points into strength, one into constitution, one into dexterity, one into speed. Something like that works for me. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Probably two into dex, one into speed, one into constitution, one into strength. It does look like we should have skill points too, because the, the pluses are staying. Which is cool. Two, one, one. The reason I, I'm almost always going to probably put one point in the Constitution is it's HP, right? And we always want our HP to be going up. So I think we get, like, bonus HP anyway, just for leveling. But I also want to start boosting that stat just a little bit. I don't know if I should get Strength on, on our Shaman or not. Maybe. Maybe it's a good idea. I don't know. All right. Uh, this. Ooh, this no. Nope. How do I open the talent tree? That's that's our skill. Ah, why? Okay, we have a power level one that we can do. So any. I, oh, I guess any of the ones on the left that uh, then eventually unlock the ones to the right. Cool. All right. Extra HP gives extra hit points on level up increases with character level. Increase HP plus 100 hit points. New skill regeneration. Regenerate five hit points every round. Passive increases with character level plus three hit points per... Oh, wow. Per round per level. Uh, extra damage on level up. Oh, these are, those are both incredible. Uh, new skill cleave. Hit two enemies with one blow. We'll hit first target twice if second target is not within range. Oh, don't give me offensive choices, man. 
Wait, melee attack distance increase? That's interesting. Attack power increase? Oh my god. New battle focus? Plus six attack power, plus six defense power. Increases with character. Oh my god, all of these are incredible. I see. Now, this is how you should have stats and skills. These all seem incredibly broken to me. Oh, I don't, I don't know, man. They're all great. Mm. I, I don't know. I don't know what the... I, I have no idea. They're all so good. The regen sounds so... Uh, Alright, you know I'm all offense all the time, so let's just go with that. Oh, it hurts me, though. Alright, what do we have here? Less damage reduction over range. Minus 1% damage reduction on range attack over the penalty range on level up. Don't know what that means. Um, increase HP plus 50 hit points. A new skill, Master Aim. Sharp Sight and Deadly Precision allows the Ranger to hit targets over a longer distance. Plus 15 range, attack distance, passive. Sounds pretty useful. Two range damage, extra on level up. Plus 10 damage. Fast Hands and Great Skill has taught... I think it's T-A-U-G-H-T, not T-O-U-G-H-T, but it's fine. The Ranger to fire two arrows in quick succession. That's cool. Attack power, defense power, and dodge chance. Um, yep, I feel like we're going to be pulling a lot from this middle one. Extra mana gives extra mana on level up, increases character level, 100 mana, mana regen. Sounds pretty useful. Spell power, spell damage. All damage taken will be subtracted from mana instead of health. Uh, OG should be OF of instead of AUG. Plus 5 magic power, plus 10 defense power, plus 5% to all resistances, plus 2 defense, defense power, D E F E N S E. Uh, increases with character level plus one percent resistance power level one defense power. Okay. Oh, um, actually, I, I think I like the mana option on this one. Huh. Cool. And finally, our shaman extra mana, extra mana. Shaman receives guardian spirit that casts a random buff spell from the shaman spellbook at the beginning of combat and every third turn afterward. That's incredible. Or thereafter. 10 to healing power, 10 to spell damage. My blood is your life. The shaman's blood is infused with powerful life force. Every time the shaman receives damage, random hero. That's incredible too. These are great. Kudos to the developer for coming up with these. 5 to magic power, 5 to poison resist. Inspired by the deadly forces that sometimes hide in the beauty of nature, the shaman conjures a magical projectile that deals earth damage. The thorn of agony. Oh, these are all great. Um, oh, wait, a point that can only be used in the corresponding power level. Oh, I'm like reading between. I'm like, what's happening? Um, crap. Which one? I think I'm going to go with the guardian skill. I like that. And I, I do like uh, replenishing mana. Well, that, that's crazy. Is, is there a shop here? Hmm. I mean, we're just beginning our adventure, so... You know, I I don't want to go out and fight something again. You think the goblin respawns? Probably not, right? Oh, maybe. Oh, I thought that was him. Is there a way to flee from combat, I wonder? Wait, 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 what? 
Whose turn is it? It's your turn. Why is the spell over here? Did that work? Well, maybe. However, that deals arcane damage. All right, sure. <laughs> what I look like I hurt. All right, and then do, what? What do I? What can I do? Seismic slash. Taunt. Huh. Okay. Uh. Let's see what you got. I mean, he wasn't within melee range. Let me read that again. I should have maybe read it closer. Make enemies want your blood all normal. There's a T at the end of normal. Normal attacks, both ranged and melee, will be directed against the warrior. Six rounds, target caster, caster range zero, lasts for four rounds. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So it seems like it'll just work, probably. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> Cool. Uh, look. Oh. Oh no. Oh, this, is a, this is a little less cool. <laughs> okay, well, we, we may have uh, just got ourselves killed. Hopefully the game auto-saved, because uh, I did forget to do quick-saving. Uh, that might be bad for me. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Um, I have no idea. Oh, skills on cool. Oh, it's a skill, not a spell. Uh... Oh, well, that's good. Oh, that's that's not good. <laughs> that's a uh, little less than I was expecting. Water damage over time. Well. That's on cooldown. Well, good luck. I did 40 whatever arcane damage, huh? Oh good, there's a tree here. Oh, maybe that'll protect me. It did not protect me. Hey, the one thing died, though. That's, uh... That's a thing that definitely happened. I can't use this because we're too close. Eh, maybe I can still use it. Well, I was able to do it at point blank. I suppose you'll come back from this, will you? Nope. And I wasted my turn. Well, that's bad. All right. Oh, yeah, this is not going to go well for us. See, what happened was... Oh, boy. Um... Well, I mean, I mean, there's, there's, there's a, there's a chance. No, there's no chance. All right. Can the ranger clutch it? Probably not. It's looking decidedly bad. What just happened? I missed. Oh no. Help! <laughs> Somebody sent some help! Oh no. Oh, alright, let's see.
Let's see where the autosave put us. All right, back at the beginning. All right, hold, please. Please hold. And scene. All right, we're back. Uh, all right, cool. I ran through it. Things went much better this time. Shockingly, I know. Whew. Okay, um, I still want to get into another fight. I just don't want to get into another fight that gets me killed. So clearly going toward the wolves is a bad game plan. In general, that is not the map button. So do we have a compass? Okay. So in this general region is where... Are these giant muskrats? I don't... Probably. Alright. Well, we're still, we're still doing a little bit of damage with our uh, bow action. I'm going to back up though. Alright. Bring it. This one might close. Did not. All right, the only person I didn't put a skill on for was you. I'm going to throw that on the big boy there. And then I'm going to step forward and get my melee on. So I believe we're going to do more damage melee styles. Don't think I'll hit both. There we go. Alright. Let's see what you got. Okay, it's fine. They're okay with that. Alright, sir. Go ahead and slap. Okay, they're probably poisoned, is my guess. Hit it with the skill. This one. Did, did that not work? I don't... Oh, whatever. We're going in. We swinging on... We swinging on him. All right, one died. And the other is dead. All right. Cool. And we do seem to replenish pretty quickly. Despite the poison. Does poison last forever? like three of them were poisoned one remaining round okay cool so we just kind of waited out that's fine all right that went much better i i don't mind roaming the forest for a little bit oh we got two little gobbo boys coming oh yeah look at him look at him all right let's go ahead and launch a big old shot at this guy that's right I'm ready for it. Our movement is just god awful, by the way. I don't want to hit. I want to hit you with it, but you're out of range, so we have to hit this guy with it. That's cool. Can I hit the one in the back? Nope. I can't hit either of them. All right. Okay. One physical damage. Sure. Alright. They're gonna waddle up to Oh oh he just just launched a pellet at us. They're they're ranged goblins. That's that's awesome. I love that there's ranged goblins. Oh that's so cool. Alright, that's on cooldown for two more rounds. He should be having a bad day by now. Um That's gonna be on cooldown two just to keep that going, we'll do that. I'm going to go ahead and Hadouken you and do a little bit of that. Alright, let's see what you got. You're going you're gonna to lob us out and you died to the damage over time. Still on cooldown. I'm going to dot you up again, sir. All right. Oh, we didn't like that. 34 water damage. Oh, and he's running. Oh, but you're running while you're getting sniped in the back. That's not going to go well for you, buddy. All right. Nice. Nice. 
And we said good day, sir. And now you tick down to the water damage? Yeah, you do. Sweet. Oh, so good. Oh, I love that. That was so much fun. Ooh, there's like a ruin or something over there. Oh. Uh, F5 is quick save. All right. I know this didn't go well for us before, but hear me out. Let's try it again. There's only two of them this time. Surely, surely we can take them. I'm going to poison you. I'm going to water damage you. I am going to shoot you, and then I taunt. Bring it. Okay, so taunt's coming up next. Uh, smack you. Put heal on you. The blast at point blank on this one okay okay that feels good oh do i taunt or do i go for the, the big swing i think i go for the big swing let's try the big swing this might be a mistake 42 and 42 and the tick damage right it wasn't enough oh i thought for sure oh he's close to not being alive anymore Don't worry, we got you. Ooh. Okay. Haunting. Bring it. Man, these things are super strong. Oh my god, it took 64 damage? Does he crit me? Oh my god. Okay, he's down. All right, we gotta land this. Yeah! Ooh, old leather armor. Oh, so good. And a commoner's belt. Well, I, you know, I got I got news for you, girl. You just got yourself a commoner's belt. I have no idea how to equip you. Ah, like this. Okay. Like I don't know how this works, but look at you. You're now wearing a belt. I guess that's fine. All right, the Gambeson, while it was impressive, it's no longer impressive. Okay, cool. And we have a rusty large axe, which is two-handed. What am I using? I'm using a chipped axe, which is six to ten melee damage. It is not two-handed. This is two-handed. This should destroy everything known to humankind by comparison to what we're using right now. 6 to 10, 15 to 20, plus 3 to attack power. I'm going to say that's an upgrade. Um, Yeah, yeah, no, that seems fine. Oh, I want to keep playing. Oh, this is so cool, guys. Look, there's a whole world out there that wants to murder me. Oh. Uh, okay, guess we can stop. Maybe. I don't want I don't want to stop. Alright, we're we're gonna get into another fight and then we're gonna stop. I'm gonna save again. Aw, oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Ooh. Those are rat wolf things. Rat pigs. Oh, that's not even where we're supposed to be going. This is great. My wanderlust is, is working very well for me. Oh, what happens if I attack from uh distance here oh, I started combat I'm so cool there's a lot of them oh there's more than I thought all right well this will be this, this is probably fine right I'm sure nothing bad will happen this is great oh this is so cool um, 
I don't know if this is an option. Another another thought to the developer if he decides to watch all this stuff or not. Um, maybe there's a setting where if your AP runs out, well, I suppose your AP and your MP runs out, it would just auto end your turn. But I can see why you don't want to do it on AP because in case you want to do stuff and then step back, like I get it. Uh, and it's not a big deal. It's just I, I'm like aha, and I want it to like auto advance to the next character, and it doesn't. That's not the game's fault. That's a it's a me problem. Okay, I get a shot now. We use this already, right? Yeah. I'm gonna back up. And I'm gonna shoot this guy. Twenty-four physical damage. Guy in the back's running up. This dude's poisoned. He rolled out on us. Did not get a chance to do anything. I think I'm gonna go ahead and blast you. All right, let's see what you guys got. Since we fought these things before, do we have any idea how much health they have? I don't think so. This guy's still outside of our... Like, a, like, it's not within melee range. I guess is what I was trying to say. Maybe I should have waited. Is he poisoned? No. The poisoned one died, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. There it is. All right, big hit. We're gonna see how much they enjoy poison. I'm gonna put it on you. Uh, I'm also gonna water splash you, so you should just be taking lots of damage on the side. I am gonna taunt. Okay, I think I can shoot. Shoot you. That's totally okay. It's my turn to swang. I hit all three. It's beautiful. Beautiful skill. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, go ahead and throw a heal on our boy. Thank you, my dear. Are we good with this yet? No. Okay. Alright, we took a couple other shots there. Down you go. We're gonna look at you. You're so adorable. you're actually really terrifying and creepy. By the way, I just want to point this out again in case you guys didn't hear me before. This is a single solo developer who made this. This is incredible. Like this is this is great. Oh, it's so good. Oh, did I loot the wolves? I don't think I did. Maybe I did. Okay, oh, with the apple bottom <laughs> jeans and the boots with the fur. Everybody in the club was looking at... Oh, sorry. Um, did I loot the wolves? I must have, right? I think I did. Yeah, I definitely must have maybe probably looted the wolves. Well, either way, we just got some more equipment that I think we'll look at and we'll play with in the next episode. I absolutely had a blast with this so far. Finally get my hands on the game. I'm glad that I wandered somewhere I shouldn't have gone and got killed. I was hoping to do that. Uh, I was kind of figuring maybe it might have been my initial split down the left or right road. And I went to the left. Uh, maybe if I read the quest, which we really haven't looked at yet. Uh, see main quest. Yeah, so here we have a bit more of a descriptive thing explaining what's going on with the quests. Um, here he begins. You have arrived at the edge of the forest and yet another misty day in the land of Miss Misseria, something along those lines. The village lies just up the road and to the left at the fork. See, if we had read this, we'd have known where to go. I happen to stumble upon it just out of luck. Dumb luck, I guess. There you are bound to find someone who can tell you more about the bounty. Cool. 
So yeah, read your quest, guys and gals. I just kind of wanted to get in the world and kind of get into trouble, try things out, feel it out a little bit. Ah, uh, fantastic. This is uh, every bit as cool as I thought it was going to be, and I cannot wait to play more. This is this is great. Anyway, a uh, big thank you once again to the developer for sending this my way. Uh, again, you totally didn't have to do that, but it means a lot, and uh, it's greatly appreciated. And yeah, awesome, awesome game so far. Uh, I wouldn't hate maybe like a little bit of a background loop of music when we're just wandering the forest, but at the same time, I kind of like the birds and the just, you know, doing stuff. But I like that we have danger music. I like that when we get a level up, big old explosions happen, loud noises. It's great. Draws your attention to it. I, it's, so many things are done so right so far with the game. Anyway, folks, that's it for me. I'm done rambling. <sighs> Might be done playing for tonight, which I don't want to be, but I'm going to have to be. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, definitely going to be playing this a little bit more tomorrow. <sighs> um, again, if you guys skip to this episode and you didn't watch the first one because it was tutorial and character creation, uh, this is great. Love it. Um, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, any of that stuff, down below in the description of the video, there'll be various links with all that information there for you. All right. And, uh, yeah, until the very next episode, folks, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>